It was supposed to be the opposition's final showdown. Instead, hundreds began running before it had even begun. Cars of young men left after reports that the ruling party had blocked off all exits. And within minutes, the injured returned. This man saying he had been attacked with sticks. Zambia is used to peaceful elections, but violence has simmered throughout this one. I have never seen this kind of violence. We used to complain of certain attacks here and there, but not where right now, as we are talking, we have lost close to 36 people, members of UPN that have been killed. I mean, it's the kind of deaths you expect in a civil war situation. Despite the skirmishes, the final rallies went ahead, and the opposition is surging on a wave of dissatisfaction. That's why I want to change. The food is too expensive. We want it so that our grandchildren, they should have free education. The UBND believes that this time it may do it. Two years ago, it came within 30,000 votes of taking power, but since then, the economy has suffered and thousands of young people have joined the party. This is a rally about hope, but the truth is, whoever wins this election, there will be years of hardship ahead. Zambia is in talks with the IMF for a bailout, and with it will come cuts and price rises. Ruling party supporters are defiant, though. Like we have seen already, this, uh, this PF of government has worked. We go everywhere, we go everywhere, and the improvement is there, you see. The government blames the deficit on a global meltdown, but says it has still delivered growth in its five years. Not just that, but it's helping the poorest. We've transformed this country beyond recognition. Building of the hospitals, building of the roads, building of the schools, the universities. And we said we are going to take development as close to the people as possible. So we have revolutionized the way we do politics. And people have been questioning, they have been asking, you guys, where have you been? The winner must get more than 50% of the vote. If not, there will be a runoff. But whoever wins will inherit a deficit, bailout talks and rocketing prices. So making the voters feel like they've won as well will be a far bigger challenge. Dan Ashby, TRT World, Zambia.